Hey gang, we are in Lake Geneva, Wisconsin today. Spooky cemetery time. We're at a cemetery called St. Killian. It's about seven miles away from Lake Geneva. There used to be a church here. There used to be a church right on this site, right where that monument is. And you see it says 1856 to 1998. Now there's a story behind that church. And as you can see, there's a picture of the old church right on this black granite monument base. Beautiful German church, 1800s. But what's sad is the church bell that used to ring in that bell tower was mounted here, was stolen. Yes. The church was a German church. They were the pioneers in this area and they did not want to go all the way to Lake Geneva to the church there because well it was a long way away for them horse and buggy horse and spring wagon and it was also English speaking they wanted their own dialect so they built that church here back then and it was where all the parishioners would go here now I wonder if this crucifix is from, I mean, it's got a new foundation, but I wonder if it's from the period of the church. It certainly is ominous looking, I'm sorry to say. Jesus is on a metal cross. I, I'm going to tell you, I'm going to say that the marble statue is probably original. The cross may not be crucifix. Well, it was called the little cathedral in the country here. And sadly, sadly it was demolished in 2002. The church was in ruins and there were Satanists coming here to the basement of the church to do their evil worship, evil rituals. So they finally had enough of that. It was burnt down by the Lake Geneva Fire Department as Part of a practice drill, but why did they come here? Why, why did they come here to worship? What was the draw? What was the magnetism of this place? Well, they said that the priest had died in a violent way and his ghost is said still to haunt this cemetery. Now look at that. We have turkeys. A whole flock of turkeys down there. Just notice that. Look at that. Gotta love it. Yes, so anyway, his Spirit lingers here, according to locals, and that drew in the vandals and the Satan worshipers, as I said, and they would hang out here in the basement of the church and do their thing, and they're like, that's it. That's too bad, isn't it? I mean, quite a landmark. Well, it fell into ruins. It's too bad nobody, nobody put the money out to try to save it. Now, this is a magnificent monument, if I've ever seen one. Look at that. This thing is taller than me. Barbara Hahn. She died in 1879, rather young. 
1851 to 1879. Well, I'm in the corner, and this is this is kind of a haunting place. And I stand here by this giant stump, and I look up the hill there. And I can just imagine the old church, the old church off in the distance there. It's too bad it's gone. <laughs>